And now let's look at the terminal stance phase. It begins where the last phase ended. The center of gravity is above our supporting leg and it ends when the contralateral side has ground contact. The ankle joint is now maximally plantar flexed and pushes us forward. This creates high torques at the knee, which has to fight against the high extension moments. Which muscle do you think does that? When we look up, what the musculus gastrocnemius actually does, it says plantar flexion and knee flexion. This is the exact moment where this muscle really shines. The gastroc muscle is the main player now preventing the knee to get hyperextended. A paralyzed gastroc will then lead to an increased risk for a genorecovatum. Let that sink in. Did you know that? Not only that, but also a paralysis of the musculus soleus makes it nearly impossible for the patient to get through the skate phase. The ground reaction force vector travels to the distal parts of the foot and pushes the foot into dorsiflexion. The calf has not only to negate this, but reverse it and propose the body forward with a well-timed plantar flexion against the ground reaction force. 